is moving abroad really worth it this is one question which gets asked to me almost all the time my cousins my friends ask me they're earning really good in india at the moment and should they be moving abroad should they be going to be moving to canada or us so this is one question that i'm going to answer maybe moving out of india is a bad option for some people and living in india you can be much more happier so guys it's a beautiful sunny day today and i'm out here shooting in my beautiful city cambridge and it's just maybe one or two more months while we can shoot outside after that it's going to be horribly cold and then of course i'm going to limit myself to do my youtube studio so let's enjoy shooting outside <music> Living in India might be a better option for you if the only motive why you want to move abroad the only objective is to earn and save more money. See, living in India, I know many people at least of my age group of my work experience so I do work as an uh, you know full-time IT engineer and I know many friends and cousins who are almost of the same age group and they keep telling me all the time that now you know especially after the pandemic the salaries have increased quite a bit and there are very good chances that you can earn good salary you can score good packages if you're working at least in it i cannot say that about all the sectors but at least about the it sector about the it professionals if you're living in cities like uh, gurugram bangalore um, hyderabad chennai mumbai pune there are high chances that you can score good packages and eventually you end up saving a lot of money maybe 1 lakh rupees per month that might not be very common to many people but yes i know many people who do easily save 1 lakh rupees per month and generally there's this thinking that if you move abroad you'll save a lot of money the expenditure would go up however the salaries haven't gone up that much so this thinking that working abroad he'll save a lot of money might not be correct let's say you're earning around 20 lakh rupees uh, per annum in india and you're being offered hundred thousand uh, dollars in canada so you'll think that hundred thousand dollars equivalents to 60 lakh rupees or maybe more than that now so you'll end up saving much more money of course you're earning thrice the amount that you're earning in india you might have heard about that when you talk to your friends that they're earning in dollars but they're spending in dollars as well and when we talk about that indirectly we're talking about ppp so the concept about ppp is that uh, the purchasing power of your money is different in different countries basically if you're earning hundred thousand dollars in canada that would be equivalent to around 18.5 lakh rupees in india so if you're earning anything more than that in india that would mean that you'll end up saving more money if you have hundred thousand dollars uh, package annual package here in canada so all in all if the major objective behind you moving abroad is to earn and save more money and maybe you want to go back to India after uh, let's say three four five years after earning a lot of money maybe moving abroad is not a good option for you and living in India can actually save and earn more money okay it's so warm outside I had to come inside and sit in the car for some time but I can do the talking so the second point is about all those people who want to start businesses maybe a new startup here in Canada so if you want to have a new startup of course you would have some business idea in your mind you might have a business idea in your mind that might work in India but that might not work in Canada so when you're in Canada you might have to spend a lot of time maybe couple of years to identify those problems that people actually face here so that you can solve those problems and your business can flourish another good thing about starting a business in India would be that you get a cheap labor so even if uh, you know if we're talking about some IT engineers uh, we know 
the starting packages for in, um, you know IT engineers uh, starts at around 20,000 25,000 per month uh, while if you're in Canada you have to pay way too much so you know that's the reason why all these companies from US uh, Europe Canada everywhere have uh, outsourced uh, you know the systems to India so of course there's this great opportunity of having a cheap labor in India that you won't get in Canada now when you're in India you're in your home country you know the people you know the places you know how to get things fixed how to get work done and many things might be a lot different while you're in Canada you might be expecting something else and you were not expecting that you didn't know about that you didn't know the place you didn't know the people so if you're in India and you want to have a startup set up a business right from scratch then I really think that uh, being in India it might be much more easier for you than in US or Canada. I'm not saying that uh, you know it would be impossible. Of course, there are many, many, many people who have done that. But yes, the journey would be much more easier for you in India because you know the people, you know the places, you know their, you know their problems, you know how to solve those problems. Uh, you know the places where you can go and get cheaper deals. Uh, you know so many things about your country, right? So uh, if you come to Canada or US or any country abroad then you might have to face much more difficulties in starting a business than you would actually face in India. Okay, the sun is setting. I've taken a breather. So let's go outside and talk again. Okay, so the next point is about healthcare. The healthcare in Canada is so, so, so horrible. And my past experiences uh, have been so horrible that I cannot give you an explanation about it. Maybe I'll about it in a separate video you know among friends we keep talking about it how this country is even running with such bad health care yes it is free uh, you can go to the hospitals you won't be billed anything you won't have to pay anything but you'll have to wait for so long that you'll feel like I'd better pay and get the treatment instead of uh, waiting for so long when you're not feeling well the last time I was in the hospital in the emergency ward um, I had to spend around 10 hours and it was so frustrating waiting in the emergency ward getting to see a doctor after 10 hours you get so many painkillers and you start feeling well <laughs> instead of uh, waiting in the emergency ward you feel like let's get her go back home take rest and we might feel better so maybe if uh, you have any medical complications any health issues because of which you have to see the doctor uh, you know very frequently or you have uh, family members who need to visit doctor very frequently, sometimes in the you know emergency ward, or you need to get the uh, ER. So in that case, maybe you would get a much better treatment in India. You would not like the free healthcare, as they say, in Canada. Okay, my next point is about distance from India. If you have chosen a country like Canada or US, of course, the distance from India is going to be huge and you'll have very longer travel times and of course very expensive tickets as well. So if you're having a normal salary, if you're not earning too much, most of your savings would be spent in traveling to India. Like if you have a family of two or three people, you would spend probably around $10,000 every year just to travel to your home country. While Europe and UK is slightly better in this sense because of course the distance is almost half. If you are one of those people who has to travel to India frequently, then maybe Canada or US might not be the great place for you because trust me, traveling even once a year becomes very difficult with family. And, and, and of course, pandemic taught us that living abroad can be quite difficult, especially during that one phase of April, May, June of 2021, it was so difficult for us, for all of us who were living abroad because we all were feeling helpless. We could not just travel to India. All we could do is probably, you know, send some money uh, to our loved ones. But even money was not out of any help at that point of time. So, you know, if you're one of those people who has to travel uh, to India quite frequently, maybe you have, uh, you know, sick people uh, in your in your home, maybe you have old parents, old grandparents and you want to visit them frequently. Trust me, traveling from a country like Canada or US is not going to be easy. And whatever you may promise to them, you might not be able to fulfill that promise. 
if you are choosing dubai then it's still a lot easier um europe is better than canada and us in terms of traveling and the tickets and the time but it's going to be difficult so if you are one of those people who has to travel frequently you better not move abroad and you better move to a different city in india itself but not abroad maybe at a maximum to dubai or middle east but nowhere far from there all right guys so those were some of the points uh where i believe that living in india is much better than living abroad if you fit in one of those categories please uh let me know in the comment section below if this video actually helped you somehow please let me know in the comment section below if you have any comments any feedback then also please let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for watching this video i'll see you in the next one